All right, listen up. Okay. My amigos! Howdy. In between auditions here. And uh, let's talk about debt. Let's talk about debt, amigos. Debt. We've got to get out of debt. If you have school debt, or if you have credit card debt, if you have uh, car debt, cut back on the things that you want and start focusing on the things that you need. Like, you need to get rid of the debt because the interest is accruing, uh, you know, in some cases, like at 20-something percent. That's, that's freaking crazy. That amount of interest piled on top of the debt that you already owe, it's like, I, I'm sure everybody's noticed this, that you, you know, you make a payment, you make a payment, you make a payment, and the balance just doesn't go down. You know, you know you've paid a fair amount of the, of the balance, and yet, for some reason, it just doesn't go down because it's interest. Here's a really simple suggestion would be go online and just Google financial stability in the Google browser and then go to videos and there will be tons of information on financial stability, how to get rid of your debt. The way I did it was when I, I had a Jeep a long time ago when I was um, in my early 20s and what I did was, I think the percentage, I was paying like 16% interest. My payment was for $340 a month. And what I would do is I would pay double. Or I would pay at least $100, $150 over what I owed every month to the, um, to the car title. And I did that not only to hurry up and get rid of the debt, and that way the interest wouldn't accrue so much, but I did that to teach myself that I could have a better car in the future. Get rid of your debt. Get rid of the debt because that is the thing that is holding you back. It's like a ton of bricks on your shoulders and it's just holding you down. It's holding you down to the point where you're not, you don't have as much flexibility with the other things that you'd like to do. So I suggest getting rid of all of the debt immediately stop doing things for a while if you have to a year or two years you know cut back on going out cut cut back on going out and eating cut back on the things that you that you want not for your financial stability and your financial future the future you will say jesus what was i doing like what was i thinking to have this much debt where you have to declare bankruptcy or where you know, you're just, you're forced every single day and every single month, every year to go to a job that you don't want to go to or do something that you don't want to go to because you've accrued a, uh, a, a, you know, a large amount of debt. So get rid of the debt, guys and girls. Immediately start cutting it out. Start paying in advance. Start paying more than what they ask of you. That way the interest doesn't accrue and overwhelm you. Mortgages. Jesus, a mortgage. I mean, that's something I'll have to talk about in the future. Uh, but for now, let's keep it really simple. Let's start focusing. Let's start focusing on just paying down the debt a little bit at a time, but make that a priority. That way you can get rid of that debt, get that, you, you know, that mule off your back. I guarantee you one thing, that when you get rid of the debt, you will fly when you dream. When you fall asleep at night, you will levitate. You will fly up into the corners of the rooms in your dreams. You'll be up on top of the corner and then you'll be looking down. You'll be looking down at other people. You'll see them below you. You are levitating because nothing is holding you down. That is fantastic when you have that type of dream that you're levitating above. Get rid of your debt. That's the first thing that you have to do. Get rid of the things that are holding you down. I think it was Albert Einstein who said every object that I own is like a stone around my neck and so what he means is it's holding him down and that debt is holding you down along with all the other crap that you don't need become happier get your head out of your ass by getting rid of the debt that you have all right yeah that's right this is a little bit more serious one because this is serious stuff we're talking about serious stuff you know what I'm saying all right that's it for me guys Thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Peace out.